What is up guys, Gamer here, welcome to my Tears of Gothic mini game guide. Now I've been looking up on YouTube, uh, Tears of Gothic mini game guide, and I haven't really found one. Uh, most of them are just outdated and they don't really explain it much. So I'm just going to put out a video here since some people have actually been asking me to put one out for this guide. So, you know, why not? So to start off, you can only play this mini game once per week, and you have to at least gain one quest point or 100,000 experience to actually enter the game again. Uh, but it is really worth it because uh, your lowest skill will get a lot of XP in it and it only takes you a couple minutes to f uh, complete the minigame so I'll tell you guys some tips and tricks on what you need to do uh, during the minigame and uh, how to get there and what you need to actually start the minigame so hopefully this guy does help you guys out because it is uh, very very helpful to know about this alright so the requirements that you need are to complete the Tears of Guthix quest which is actually a pretty fast quest um, also, you need to uh, have a light source uh, because you're obviously going to be inside a cave, so you need to see. And um, if you guys do have at least 30 in all skills, you'll receive uh, the full amount of XP. Um, you don't really need to have all 30 in skills, but uh, it is very helpful because it would give you more XP. But yeah, let's get into how to get here. Um, you can just use a games necklace right here and teleport to Tears of Guthics. That's basically it. You can only do that after you completed the quest. But yeah, I'll show you guys on how to do it. Let's start it. So to play this mini game, all you want to do is right click and click story on Juna. Now, once you do this, uh, you'll be entered inside the game. Obviously, um, I did this not so long ago, so I'm going to show you guys a clip and tell you guys on exactly what to do. The aim of the game is to collect as many blue tiers as possible from the blue streams on the walls and try to avoid the green tiers because this will actually reduce the amount of XP you get. Uh, you have a limited time in the cave, so, you know, be careful, just watch out, be focused on this. It's only a couple minutes, and uh, this the, ca the cave time actually depends on the number of quest points you have. So, um, every one quest point actually adds one second to the timer, which is alright, it's not too bad. But yeah, that's basically it. This guide is very, very simple. I really encourage you guys into doing this because um, it is actually really helpful. It does give you a lot of XP, it does add up and everything like that, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. If this guy did help you guys out, make sure to leave a like and uh, you know check out my other content. I'm doing an Iron Man Road to Max series. And yeah, that's it guys. Have a great day and don't forget to subscribe for more content.